Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Golden State does it again. Folks, don't check Twitter. Don't check Twitter because guys, I'm telling you, buddy healed to the Golden State Warriors. This is a good move. This is a much needed move. And I am so glad that this finally came to fruition because we've been waiting for like a day or two on, we heard rumors several nights ago that this is like about to happen. And then yesterday was just kind of a blank slate. So ESPN sources, according to Adrian Wojnarski with ESPN, I guess, a uh, free agent, buddy healed is joining Golden State on a sign and trade deal guaranteed guaranteed for two years and $21 million. Heald gets $18 million in the first two years and $3 million partial guarantee in the third and player option on non-guaranteed fourth year. Warriors send Sixers 2031 second round pick via Dallas. I mean, this is the definition of a fleece. <laughs> Before we rant, let's just do the intro here. If you guys are new here, hit that like button, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Uh, Warriors fans, love you guys as always. If I try and get this video to 100 likes, it would mean the world to me. But as always, it is July 4th, so happy 4th of July to everybody watching this video. Uh, guys, I don't care what Twitter tells me. The Anthony Melton, Kyle Anderson... And Buddy Heald for Clay Thompson is a huge freaking upgrade, folks. It's a huge upgrade. I don't even want to get into the nitty gritty of Clay Thompson. Guys, if you're throwing temper tantrums and like I'm a diehard Clay Thompson fan, I'm a diehard Clay Thompson supporter, and I always will be and I always have. But there's a fine line. And when you're disrupting team chemistry and you're disrupting the locker room, and I know you can say the same thing about Draymond Green, but when it becomes a problem, moves need to be made. And if Golden State didn't want to pay him $20 million a year and he wanted to go play Dallas for like, what, less than that? All right. You know what? To each their own. But you can't tell like Clay Thompson wasn't even the second best player in the Warriors last year, folks. Buddy Heald. The Anthony Mountain, Kyle Anderson for Clay Thompson, if that was a trait, you would be oozing. You would be oozing with compliments to the Warriors front office. You literally flipped Clay Thompson, Kyle Anderson, Buddy Heald, and De Anthony Mountain. That's an upgrade as far as I'm concerned. Now, here's my issue with Golden State, and this is why and we've been talking about it on this channel for a couple days now. This is why this move was so freaking important, folks. There was no scoring outside of Steph Curry. There was no scoring. You can try and tell me Clay Thompson. You can try and tell me whatever you want. You can try and tell me Jonathan Kaminga. I don't care. There was no reliable second score on the team. Now, I'm not saying Buddy Heald's about to drop 25 coming off of the bench. I mean, I, I doubt he starts. If they told Clay Thompson B pod start, and I don't think Buddy Heald's going to get the nod. But there was just a lack of consistent scoring. And I don't mean that as a knock at all to Jonathan Kamingo or Clay Thompson. Uh, but it was just inconsistent and it was unreliable. Jonathan Kaminga, you know, took a huge leap this past season, but he's freaking 21 years old. Like, yeah, he's going to struggle time and time again. Like if this upcoming year is where Jonathan Kaminga truly breaks out. Clay Thompson did what he needed to do. And unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. There was a lot of shenanigans going on with the Golden State Warriors. I never, they didn't have freaking big man. I never felt comfortable with the Warriors even heading into the season, Clay Thompson or no Clay Thompson. Like, to be honest with you, and I'm sorry if this is rude, but Clay Thompson had no impact, positive or negative, on the Golden State Warriors last season, as far as like from the start to the end. It, it just didn't matter. There were there were deeper issues at play here. So I love this move. Now, what are you getting with Buddy Heal? I'm glad you asked. Hopefully, you're getting around 15 points per game. You're getting one of the best shooters in the NBA. Whether any advanced statistic would back up Buddy Hill's shooting stats, but Buddy Hill's a 40% three-point shooter in his career. All right. So we look at Golden State last season. Uh, they made the second most threes. They made the seventh most three-point percentage as far as you know. They made they shot 38% from downtown. That was seventh in the NBA. They made just under 15 threes a night. That was second in the NBA. But once again, you need to replace Clay Thompson and all the threes he was making. Clay Thompson was making three and a half threes per game. He was taking nine of them. All right. So you got the replacement right there with Buddy Heald. If you're worried about Buddy Heald's defense, well, I'll just say this: B pod starting, right? 
So I, I wouldn't worry about a defensive bench player's woes and inconsistencies, all right? A lot of defense is coaching, a lot of defense is effort, but if Buddy Heald's giving me 40% from downtown and he's giving me 15 points per game and he's playing 25 minutes off the bench, I'm not going to complain, all right? And obviously, if you're the worst defensive player in the NBA, then we could have a talk, uh, but Buddy Heald is not the worst defensive player in the NBA. He's not the most passy guy, uh, but he will give you a couple of rebounds, and I, outside of this past season, health has never really been you know all that much of an issue for Buddy Heald. But once again, like... And even just to go to the Lori Markin in rumors real quick, I guarantee you folks, if there was or is a chance or a shot that the Warriors can trade for Lori Markin and they would have not made this move for Buddy Hill. They would have not made the move. If there was a sliver of hope even that Golden State could orchestrate a trade to the Utah Jazz to receive Lori Markin in and this Buddy Hill sign and trade prevented that, they wouldn't have made the move. All right, so Laurie Markin is very much up in the air, or not up in the air. It's very much still in play. It's up in the air as far as, you know, to be honest, from my stance, like, I don't even think Laurie Markin is really going to get traded. But we made videos the last couple of days. Why De'Anthony Melton? Like, folks, De'Anthony Melton's even a good statistical player. He's going to give you 12 points. He's going to give you four rebounds. He's going to give you four assists. He's going to give you a steal and a half, and he's going to shoot over 35% from downtown. Kyle Anderson's the perfect. Kyle Anderson just gets flamed on Twitter because of his shot technique. Guys, Kyle Anderson's a winning player. De'Anthony Melton's a winning player. Buddy Heald, these are winning players. I am, and I just saw, like, I saw this really stupid, uh, it was on First Things First, it was literally like 10 minutes ago, and it was the Warriors, I didn't even see this report, I can't even believe it's a headline, the Warriors don't believe in the three-star thing, and I, or the Lakers don't, sorry, and I totally agree, you don't need the, the Suns roster to make a championship run. Steph Curry is still Steph Curry. Jonathan Kaminga is rapidly improving. B-Pod, TJD had phenomenal seasons. I technically still have Andrew Wiggins. Chris Paul didn't do much for me last season. Moses Moody, I'm very big on. Golden State, folks, is not done in free agency, and they're not done in the offseason. I expect some type of big time-ish move, whether that's Laurie Markkinen or another move like Buddy Heald. But folks, at the end of the day, Buddy Heald helped the Golden State Warriors. All right. That's just a simple fact. And even though they lost Clay Thompson, I still think Anthony Melton, Kyle Anderson, and Buddy Heald over Clay Thompson is an immediate upgrade. All right. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Give me your thoughts on the Buddy Heald sign and trade down below. Give me a grade rating. I'm going to throw an A minus on the board here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great 4th of July, and we'll see you soon.